everyone, how's your day going? My name is Lena, welcome to my garden. Today I'd like to show off my beautiful containers of coleus that I've been enjoying all summer. Um, this is my third generation coleus, uh, which basically means that I haven't had to buy coleus for three years now. I'm in zone 8B and coleus are annuals in my area in that they don't survive the winter here. But And, and for me to be able to enjoy coleus in my garden every year, um, it means I either have to buy them or I can just come out in the fall, like right around this time. Um, today is October 10th and um, you know make some cuttings and stick them in water and propagate them so that next year I can have beautiful coleus without having to spend any money so basically that's what I'm doing today um, forecast has it that it's going to be it, temperature is gonna drop um, in about a week or so and um, once nighttime temperature goes below 40 these guys won't survive so um, I'm just trying to make sure that I like save some cuttings um, before they die. So now I'm sitting in another corner of my yard where I keep a container of coleus here just to brighten things up a bit because this corner can be a bit dark sometimes and it's been doing such a wonderful job all summer. Um, to For me to get this full effect, um, I planted about six or seven coleus plants in this container that is about um, three and a half to four feet long and uh, one foot wide. So it's like a tall, uh, sorry, like a long wooden box uh, container. And in here, I planted two varieties of very contrasting colors. Um, so this one is redhead coleus and this chartreuse colored coleus, I forget the variety's name, but when I edit the video, I'll make sure to put the variety's name on the screen. Um, but anyway, it's got this beautiful bright lime green um, color and I feel like, you know, when place next to each other they really make each other pop so I've been loving this container all summer um, if I were to go and buy this uh, all these plans I this year I would have probably spent about 75 to 80 dollars uh, to get this container here um, which I didn't luckily because I propagated them from last year um, but I saw at Lowe's or Home Depot uh, this past summer I saw a, uh, like a foot tall coleus plant um, that was like going for $9.99 which I thought it was kind of crazy because these guys are so easy to propagate I do them every year and I'm an absolute amateur when it comes to gardening so if I can do it anybody can do it um, so that's what I'm doing today. So I'm going to get to it um, If you uh, would like to see what I do or how I do it feel free to hang out with me guys So pretty much the only tool that you'll need is a pair of sharp clean scissors or pruners whatever you have and Containers of water in my experience. It doesn't really matter uh, The time of day that you take the cuttings as long as you stick them in water right away and um, you might want to um, water your container uh, a few hours before you take the cuttings. Like earlier this morning, I came out and I watered this container well because I wanted to make sure that the stems of cuttings that I take are not stressed in any way. And basically, I choose like a strong, uh, like pretty thick stem and I cut about four to six inches long. right here right this is a pretty strong sturdy stem and then I remove um, all the leaves like that it's really easy and then I leave about like I don't know maybe like like four small leaves on the top and then I stick in water like that so um, you know another uh, step that you might want to take um, to make sure that you're not bringing inside like any bugs or insects or anything like that is to um, take the cuttings and then soak them in water um, just like you know a big bucket of water and soak them in water for like an hour or two um, you can mix a little bit of soap in there too so I'm going to take um, five cuttings from redhead coleus and uh, five from um, limetime coleus and then I have another uh, a variety of coleus that I want to propagate, which is called chocolate mint. So I'm doing three, and these are the three varieties of coleus that I cannot live without. Um, I have to have them every year. Okay, so that's another one. I think that's a little bit long, but it's okay. And when you take cuttings, you want to cut like right below the leaf nodes just to, um, you know, because that's where the roots will come out. But um, sometimes, you know, like even if you don't, you cut below or you cut on top, like it doesn't really matter. Like these guys will root. It's like, like 
without fail. They'll root. So let's do one more. I think this one is a little bit long, so I'm just going to cut right here. Okay, there's that. Just that. And then let me do one for uh, lime time. Let me take this one. I love doing this every year. This is like my favorite fall time garden chores because I know that I'm saving myself a lot of money um, you know gardening can be expensive if uh, if you don't control yourself or you know like if you allow yourself to get carried away um, but here by doing this I'm definitely saving myself a few hundred dollars because like this container alone would cost me almost 100 bucks and then the other uh, side of the yard that would be another like 100 bucks also um, this is a little bit long, so I'm going to cut like right there, right below the nose. Okay, there's that. One more. Let me take one from the back because I'm not here to enjoy um, this one from the back side of the container, so... Oops, I hear sirens. I hear a fire truck. I hope no one's hurt. Okay, so let me cut this. Okay, um, so these cuttings would probably take about three weeks to uh, root, but I would I usually wait about a month, like to make sure, like you know, they they form like lots and lots of healthy roots um, before I plant them in soil. And sometimes I don't even plant them in soil at all. I just leave them in the water for like like two months. Okay, let me take another one back here. Okay. These guys are super healthy and um, like this year we had a pretty hot and dry summer and these guys like they just thrive like they thrive the hotter the better I would say for coleus
Alrighty guys, now that we have a bunch of coleus cuttings in our hands, uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, soak them in this bucket of water for about an hour because I don't want to bring inside my home um, any bugs or insects that I don't want. And this is a good way to make sure that you're, you're getting rid of the insects. You can also add a little bit of soap, you know, to make it like soapy water for better results. But for me, I'm just using regular water. Um, in an hour, I will uh, stick these cuttings back into my glasses of water and then put these glasses alongside a windowsill somewhere in the house and pretty much forget about them for like three to four weeks um, and wait for them to root. And during the time that I wait, I would come uh, to check on my cuttings like once a week just to make sure that the water isn't drying out. Um, and then um, I will decide what I want to do with my cuttings uh, later, whether I want to pot them up or uh, leave them in that, uh, the, the, the glass jar uh, until spring. But I don't have to make that decision right now. So I will see you guys back here in a month.